This is the pre-calculus spring 2015 ACP study guide, problem 13. A ball is dropped from a height of six feet off the ground. With each bounce, the ball returns to 75% of the height from its prior height. At the moment the ball hits the ground for the fifth time since being dropped, what is the total distance the ball has traveled since being dropped? This is the district's version of a real world example of using a series. And so let's say we have, just to physically understand what's going on, let's have a ground level here. And we have a ball that's being dropped, I'll make it red, from a height of six feet. And so this is going to be six feet. And the ball is dropped to the ground and so the ball I'm going to make it a little sideways just to stand them so just I'll make a different color here blue the ball is being dropped and so the distance covered as it first ball hits the ground first is six feet then the ball bounces once and returns to its 75 percent of its initial height so here's the here's the second apex, if you will, of the ball. And the ball comes down again, bounces for a second time, returns to 75% of its most recent prior height. And here the ball bounces again and touches the ground for the third time, bounces to 75% of its previous height. Bounces for the touch the ground the fourth time and bounces to 75% of its most recent height and touches the ground one last time. The ball is going to keep on bouncing, but of course, we're only interested in the distance covered up to these five balls. Touch the ground one, two, three, four, five times, and I the ball is going to be probably vertical, but I made it to the side so we can see what's going on the previous heights. And so summarize what the heights, uh, the total distance traveled. We start out with six feet, the first drop, plus you have the initial height, which is six, times times 0.75 which is 75% times two, because we go up the 75% of six feet and down, and those are the same distance. So this would account for, for one touch, two touches to the ground, and we have plus, we have, again, six times. Now here's where we have, we don't have 75% we have 75% to the second power, or three-fourths to the second power, plus times two, and this would be the third touch. The fourth touch would be six times 0.75 to the third power, times two, that's our fourth touch, and then our, our last, up to our last touch is going to be six times 0.75 to the power of four times two. So that would account for our fifth touch. So if we add these five components of traveling length together, we're gonna to get the total distance. So if we go to our calculator, we can get a calculator page, and go down here, we put six plus six times 0.75, that's to the first power, times 2 plus, so this accounts for one touch, two touches, uh, plus 6 times 0.75 to the power of 2 times 2 for the up and the down, that's where we have the times 2, so these would account for three touches, uh, for the fourth touch we would have 6 times 0.75 to the power of 3, and again times 2 for the up and down, 
that accounts for four touches and our last uh, bounce is going to be six times 0.75 to the fourth power and that again times two for up and down and then we can just check to make sure we have every bounce in place is our first bounce uh, first first time touch the ground first bounce second bounce third fourth accounting for one two three four five touches and we press enter and we get 30.609 or 30.61 we go over here to our problem and um, let's say 30.61 61 feet and that would be answer D now, there's another way we can do this using the summation feature of our calculator if we we can write this in summation form as 6 which is the distance dropped plus we can put a summation symbol here from k equals 1 for up to 4 we have 6 times 2 times 0.75 or 3 fourths to the power of k and so let's go ahead and enter this in our calculator using the summation feature. I go to the calculator, we go to the calculator again, press the key next to the 9, and, and our second row, fourth icon from the right, is this summation. So we go from k equals 1 all the way up to 4 times, and we have Let's see, point uh, was it? We have six times two times k, well, times 0 0.75. 0 0.75 to the power of k. Now, one thing that I meant to do, I forgot to do initially, we have to, uh, to get the total distance we have to add 6 to that so we put plus 6 for the initial drop and we get the same value 30.6094 so that's a confirmation anyway good luck uh, try problem number 14 which is kind of a sister problem to this one and may you be successful thanks for viewing